Happy Halloween! In today's video, we are going to Gifford, Illinois for a barrel race. So this will be a new state for me. We've stayed in a horse hotel in Illinois, but I've never actually run there. So this is a first. Uh, today, I'm also deciding to release a vlog that I filmed last month, but I never released. So after you watch this video, you can go check that one out. It'll be another American qualifier because today we are going to run in the barrel bash and do an American qualifier on Chester. So let's go. It is the night before we are leaving and so I'm gonna let Instagram choose my outfit. So I'm gonna post for y'all uh, to do a poll to see what shirts I'm wearing for Saturday and what I'm wearing on Scout for Sunday. I already have my American Qualifier outfit picked out so stay tuned to see what it is. This is choice number one. Freely is going crazy. Freely. <laughs> Shirt option number two. This is shirt number three, so these are going to be all the choices for Saturday, so let's move on to Sunday. Choice number one for Sunday, I do really love this shirt. <laughs> choice number two is very plain, but very classy. <laughs> um, ignore how weird it looks compared to the others, I swear it's fine, but this is choice number three for Sunday, and this shirt is actually super, super soft, so <laughs> waiting to see the results because I honestly would not mind to be wearing this. So we decided to bring our own shavings, so I went and got, uh, I think, 10 bags of the fine shavings. These are my favorite kind of shavings, and I know my horses love them too, so I would like to have these instead of whatever the event would provide. When we got to the barn, I started taking off Chester's shoe flies, and then I put on his shipping boots, that way it protects his legs. Since this haul is about six hours long, I want to make sure that he is cushioned up and his hocks and legs are protected. I don't currently have any big shipping boots for Scout, so I've been using my back on track boots, and I think they work good as shipping boots too. <laughs> I got hay just for Scout because he's the only one on this trip that is not allergic to hay and put it in the truck and then I was ready to give Scout his omeprazole to protect his stomach during the ride and then we were ready to load. Also if you put hay bags in the trailer for your horses please make sure your horse has on a fly mask to protect their eyes. On the way, I watched a slow-mo video of me running Scout and wrote down everything I saw that I needed to work on and everything that went wrong and how I needed to do it differently and what I did that I should not have done and then what was good. 
So I got that all written down and drew myself some little graphics to help. I am a visual learner, so I like this method. And we drove and drove. We made it to Illinois and I got this little keychain because I've gotten one for everywhere I've run and I didn't have Illinois. So now that I have a little family and I got Subway and I tried to sleep, but it did not work. And look at how cute the keychain is. And we kept driving and kept driving. And then when we got there, they were all full of energy and staring around. So I got their boots off. And then I walked them around one by one so that they could stretch their legs and I did not want to put them in a stall straight out of a long haul. Uh, I want to make sure they can stretch out before I put them in a stall. Once the stalls were all bedded, they got to go in and they enjoyed their dinner and some water. also ate dinner at the restaurant at the arena and I ate pickle fries <laughs> and then they got even more snacks to last them through the night until we got back here in the morning. <laughs> day Chester was first uh, not only was he my first horse we were number one in the draw which is a crime that was But it went well. We have never been to this arena. And he ran a 1D run. We ran a 14-4, which was really good. And I was excited about that. Happy that he is running again. And then on Scout... <laughs> After they run, I always love to give them a tube of electrolytes, especially if you run your horse on Lasix, you need to replenish their electrolytes. And now for Scout.
had a pretty good run. Um, I did pick my hand up around the second barrel, but other than that, it was a really good run. And we ran a 15-1, even with a wide second barrel. So I was very happy with that. I'm seeing if I have any lines left from hairspraying my hat to my head, and I definitely did. We gave them both even more snacks and then went to this like farm store and looked around. Look at how cute these rabbits are. I love them so much. I really want a rabbit so bad. So I stood here and watched them for a long time and they were so, 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 so cute. And then we went back, but before I gave them their dinner, I got them each out and walked them around to keep their legs from getting stiff and to let them get out and see things instead of being trapped in a stall. And then, of course, their favorite, they got their dinner. scheduled program to bring you a blanket haul and if you're wondering if I am in pajamas um are you in your pajamas okay let's go they are all hunter green so that they can look good on all my horses so I got a full winter blanket a rain slash turnout blanket and a cooling blanket all for like two hundred dollars which is crazy I'm going to put their website here. This is not sponsored, but I do really love these blankets and they put a lot of thought into them and they are very high quality. You can also adjust the neck to help it fit in the front, which I think is so cool and very useful. And then the next day is the American Qualifiers, so let's watch how that goes. Breakfast of Champions.
I am very depressed about this run. I hit the second barrel and there were a lot of shoulda, coulda, bloodas. And I maybe would have qualified if I didn't. So that's awesome. But, 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 go watch my other vlog to see when we get fourth in an American qualifier. So I do have points for the central circuit. Uh, I don't know what that means since they've changed everything this year. If you do, feel free to tell me. Um, and then I will let you watch me warm up Scout and his first barrel and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> could have gone wrong in this run went wrong uh i could not see a thing after the first barrel uh, a little hair and helmet um malfunction so that was cool and scout pulled a shoe which is not not fun not great uh, i had to pull the shoe the rest of the way off which i hate doing it had one nail left so he was struggling to walk i me and this really nice lady got it out and then i couldn't walk him on the rocks because he was so sore so i said like a million apologies to him after that run so we're just not going to talk about it the stars did not align for that one <laughs> I ate this cheesecake and this pop tart from a gas station and I checked on them and then I also ate all of these cheese sticks so overall um I'm glad that Chester is running again it wasn't a bad weekend as much as I would have you know loved to qualify for the American I'm glad that Chester is running in the Wendy at super big races with like 400 and something people so that was good thank you so much for watching this video if you have made it to the end Thank you very much. Um, follow me on all my other socials if you enjoy my content. I post a lot often daily on all of these platforms and I will see you in this video next. Bye!